Welcome back to the Tools for the Trades Monster Jam Mini Truck Build. I'm Dylan McCool, YouTube creator and restorer of cars, trucks, and plenty of junk. I'm your host on this journey and we're back for our second monthly update. As I mentioned last time, high school students have been tasked with building a one-third scale Monster Jam Mini truck powered by a Northstar 740cc EFI engine to be revealed June 7th at the Moody Center in Austin, Texas in front of tens of thousands of Monster Jam fans. Now, this is a monster-sized task, and the Bryan High School shop class students and their instructor, Chris Lady, have been hard at work over the last 30 days. Let's take a look at what they've been up to. We bent these two parts because we thought about going like just straight and then just leaving them straight, and it kind of just it didn't like fit the best. So, but bending them allows us to connect it straight to the body. Hopefully, we can get everything welded up together, so then it'll all hold, and then we can lift it out. We we finally took the frame out of the body. We started like fully welding everything. We're trying to make everything flat, so we can do the best welds and not rush anything. Yeah, so with his class, tightening everything up, like starting on the welds, we'll just finish those, the ones that they didn't get to, and then we'll just take measurements for like cross members, like from here to here, and then get those cut and put in here. There's been quite a few moments that uh, have impressed me. These kids, like when I'd let them go on it, right? I'll, I'll say, okay, y'all gotta go figure this part out right now and let them see. They kind of struggle a little bit and we'll come in, but like to get the bins on here and, and knowing where to put the jacks at to roll that uh, square tubing to get the right radius is impressing me. What an awesome contribution of steel from Mack Bolt. Raw materials are one core component of pulling off a build like this. Communication is another. And with students in two separate classes working on this project, two team captains are collaborating closely to get the chassis and frame pulled together. We nominated two team captains. Uh, one is Nate Serley and one is JD Kiorga. You know, the first team will work and then that captain will lead off and, and then talk to the next captain and tell them where we left off at and where we need to go on from here and, and what their ideas are on some of the stuff. So I think next would be flip it and then start doing like this one, mm -hmm. that one, and then maybe even like it's a good angle, then mm -hmm. doing like the undersides of them. Yeah. And so, so we don't have to, we have to put it on its top and do yeah. it like that. What stuck out to me about Captain Material with them was the, the drive in them. They, they were constantly, you know, staying in focus on the project, asking questions, pushing kids, you, you know, uh, as like a foreman type person and still staying involved and working with them. It looks like the students are making great progress on the chassis and frame for their Monster Jam mini truck. They definitely have the right idea when it comes to setting a solid foundation. Plus, I hear that they got some expert feedback and reassurance from the Monster Jam race garage crew, led by Monster Jam veteran Bill Easterly. Let's listen in. It looks like you got some really cool shapes going on. We chose to bend like specific parts like for the front, we decided to bend these mainly to make it like come over and connect to the front bumper to give it more structure. In the back of our vehicle and like the monster truck, we, we had to make certain cross members to add stability. What you guys are doing is very cool. Are you gonna be triangulating your chassis to fill in more to make it more rigid? And is the chassis itself following the contour of the, the body line of the actual fiberglass shell, or is it, are you making body mounts off of your chassis to move? A bit of both, but we're mostly, we're, we're kind of contouring the frame off the body, just so we have a little couple of like anchor points, stuff like that. So uh, can you get a close up for us and let's take a look at your work, see how you guys are doing. You're getting there. Yeah. Jeff asked me uh, early on why square chassis, and I said, well, that's what the uh, original plan had you know, to work on a square tube chassis uh, because it doesn't have to have the strength that a Monster Jam truck does when it drops out of the sky. So the square chassis uh, would work out great. And, you know, you guys have certainly learned how to weld really well on, on that square tubing. So it's a great starter process for everybody. You're really making progress. It looks great. How cool is that? I would have loved to have Monster Jam mentors in my corner when I learned how to weld. And while the Monster Jam team taught them a thing or two about the chassis, I had an opportunity to share with the students about how I turned my automotive trade skills into a YouTube creator role. How did you get started into being a YouTuber? Literally just had a love for movies, had a love for car chases in movies, had a love for 
how things were filmed, I just decided one day, let's bring a camera and see what happens. And next thing you know, uh, people enjoyed that. People like to see real life stuff. That's what people like. They like to see stuff that's genuine. They like to see stuff that's real. They like to see you go through troubles and trials because they feel like they connect to you on that. You know, this is real life. Dragging an old vehicle out. Let's see if we can make it run. See if we can make it drive. It takes time. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of patience, but you'll get to where you want to eventually. You put your hands into something, you create something from start to finish. I mean, you got a lot of pride in it. You have something to be proud of. What are like obstacles you've had to overcome in your own projects? Half the battle is knowing what to do. Uh, you have a lot of instances where you just have to figure things out. A different make, a different model. Sometimes things are the same, but a lot of times things are different based on which car you're working on or whatever vehicle it is. But the cool thing about all this stuff is whatever you do here, you will be able to take these things and apply them to anything in your life. So as you continue on this journey and continue to grow, you're going to learn things that you didn't know that you could even be capable of doing. I am passionate about inspiring these kids to learn how to work with their hands because when you can, you can do anything. Now it's great to see these students roll up their sleeves and dig into the build with Northern Tool and Equipment's Tool for the Trade along with our partners Monster Jam, DeWalt, Ingersoll Rand, and Milwaukee Tool. Now we packed a lot into this second update and there's still so much more that we could have shown you. You'll need to come back next time when we'll see the next phase of the build. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we'll see you next month.